Happy Saturday, y'all. Y'all look around me. We got we got stuff happening Saturday, but we also have special guest. So this is gonna be a little bit different than your normal Lippy in the Kitchen video, okay? Because in my opinion, we have two superstars in the house. My oldest granddaughter, Michaela, and her boyfriend, Caden. And let me tell y'all how this all came to pass. She texted me a couple of days ago. Mama, I said, yeah, me and Caden want to come and learn how to cook. I said, oh boy. I said, okay, what might that menu be? So we went over it. Well, the menu is chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, cream gravy, fried squash. So the way I'm gonna work this video is, I'm gonna introduce them, of course, and I'm just gonna set the camera in different angles, and we're just gonna cook as a family and let y'all just watch, enjoy, and we're gonna see how these two 16-year-olds do for their first true scratch cooking. Y'all praying for me yet? Are y'all on your knees going, oh, lippy? But I got a sink full of soapy water because I know I'll be cleaning. I got a whole lot of coffee. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to introduce them, and then I'm just going to stack the camera, and I'll go through and edit the, you know, boring clips. And we're going to watch two 16-year-olds cook our Saturday late lunch. So I hope y'all enjoy. I hope you're going to be able to see. I know there's a shadow of a light. This is my granddaughter, Michaela, and this is Caden. Now, I know you see them working, okay? You think they was seriously doing <laughs> some work. They're learning to peel a potato. <laughs> I told y'all, you on your knees yet? I'll do it faster this time. Yeah, me too. I gotta figure it out now. Not really. <laughs> now, I have a green one here, Kate. Oh, that's probably better. Try that one. Take okay. that. Here. <laughs> so the, the scraps are different. Like mine are long. Well, Yours are you... all like little. You take it like this. Well, make sure it's turned right. The blade's right. <clears throat> yeah, you have to see which side cuts. Yeah, it's like that. Oh, I like the other one. Oh, okay. Keep the other one. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Now that I got... Just kidding. Yeah, this one's a whole well, lot easier. Caden's made dinner with his mom before. Yeah, we made chicken and rice. You made what? Chicken and rice, like, uh, almost like hibachi. We oh, made, like, okay. Yeah. I'm the one who hasn't had any experience in it. I've cooked dinner with my mom before. They did, they did this thing for a while where they both, like, him and his brother would have to switch, alternating, like, taking turns helping out cooking dinner. We each cook a dinner for the week. Oh, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all got to know how to cook. Cook, yeah. yeah. That's kind of a necessity in life. I'm not living off of okay. microwave dinners. That's right. It only took me a minute to do this one. You see, my mom's back here helping. <laughs> you already get one done? Yep. Oh, my gosh. Well, she's experienced. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm hoping to eat today, not oh, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I'm curious to see y'all cutting these things. Oh, we have to cut them too? But yeah, we're not going to boil I've, I've made fries before. Fries are so fun. Well, we're going to be cutting them into little uh, I've made mac and cheese. About it. I made, microwave. I've made, here's my experience with cooking. I make box mac and cheese, microwave mac and cheese, microwave TV dinners, um, scrambled eggs, egg sandwich. Did I already say scrambled eggs? Probably. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, and I've made muffins. Ooh, but I out of the package. Muffins. And where do you go for home cooked meals? Oh. Here. Or cotton patch. Or cotton patch. Hey, we went to cotton patch yesterday. Yeah, and there's always like really sweet old people there. And <laughs> these, 
these people last night when they were getting their ticket one of the old ladies she looked at me and she was like actually that sweet young lady over there is going to pay for our meal like joking it was really funny and then she told me i have a i had a pretty smile so i looked like i'd do it <laughs> but you do have a pretty smile i hope so all right oh. i'm gonna do one to show y'all what I want. Without cutting your fingers off, you're gonna cut it in half, or some of them are bigger, so you may have to go threes. But I want that oh, size. Okay. Throw it in that water. In half and then thirds. Well, you may have to do fours oh, if it's one. bigger yeah. ones. Okay. okay. All right, All right. y'all get to cut those. To the big one. I'm taking a small one, I'm scared. <laughs> oh boy, they're half. slippery. That wasn't very half. <laughs> oh, mine was a third. <laughs> so was mine. Do I need to get the first aid kit? No, it's okay. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> Mama, are these too big? Let me see, babe. Come around you. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, cut, cut those that in that half. Okay. Yeah, cut that oh, in half. Splashed on me. They just need to be uniform size so they cook evenly. Yes, ma'am. This y'all's first time to make homemade mashed potatoes? Yes. Yeah, I made fries, but not mashed potatoes. And these are Yukon Gold potatoes. Ooh, They're creamy. They're the good ones. Yeah. Is that knife okay for you, Michaela? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Plopping them in. The floor needed mopped anyway. Oh. <laughs> And y'all each have a rag for your hands on oh, your side. Yeah. Oh, that one wasn't very even. It'll work. Mine not proportionate. Just don't lose a finger. I'll try. Yeah, me too. Y'all gotta get good careers. Mama's gonna get old one day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get good at cooking and we'll take over your YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, okay. That worked. That's not a bad idea. No. Oh, that one's not going to cook even. Like I said, my floor needed mopped anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Soaking the top. <clears throat> but I thought you were left-handed. Why are you cutting right? That's a good point. I don't even know. <laughs> you were like, Did hey, you I'm... See um, oh, you're yes. really cutting right-handed? Yes. Yeah, I don't know He's why. ambidextrous. Oh. So he can, sometimes he does stuff with his right hand. He's like, oh. Well, I, I definitely write left-handed. Yeah, he writes with his left hand, but he does a lot of normal stuff with his right hand. I broke my right arm one time, and people said, oh, you're going to know that you actually use it. No. Yeah. I never missed having a broke arm, because <laughs> I obviously am not ambidextrous. Yeah. Well, I'd say that word three times. Nope. Bring them over. Uh-huh. We're going to turn the fire up to high. And then we're going to add some salt. Who wants to do the salt? You. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, I'll pull this out just in case. Ooh, this is some cool salt. Pour it into the cup of your hand, and I'll tell you when. You're going to want about a teaspoon. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Right there. Stop. Now, let's measure this. Oh, no. So you can see. That does say one teaspoon, right? Yes. Okay. I'll show you something. Your hand, you don't need utensils. 
Look at oh that. Oh my gosh. That's just the And just, a teaspoon. just rub it out in there. Yeah, rest of that one I made a teaspoon. Yep. It's not Your dirty. hand can measure a teaspoon, a tablespoon. Wow. A it's fourth. not dirty because it boils the bacteria out. Did you know Smart. that? Smart. What? I said it's not dirty with him doing this because it boils it That's out. That's correct. But you know what the purpose of the salt is? To get all the extra, I don't know, break it down. Flavor. It's actually for flavor. Really? Yeah, potatoes love salt. They got to have salt to bring out the natural potato flavor. Oh. So all we're going to do now is get the potatoes boiling on high. Now the fun stuff starts. Oh. Ooh. We're working with chicken fried steak. Oh. And that's a te little technique. Oh, is that what the oil is for? Yeah, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Good, good. I just need some spice in it. Yeah. Okay. I think the best way to do this with those pieces, we're going to do it like this. All right, I'm going to get y'all started. Okay. For we're going to do, I need buttermilk. Bottom shelf. Okay, we're gonna start with one egg. It's in a green carton. Oh, I see it. Oh. <laughs> All right. One egg, and now if you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk. Oh, I suddenly drank buttermilk one time instead of regular milk. I almost threw up. Oh, that stuff's nasty. Yeah, drink. no, I didn't know it was buttermilk. Is oh. it? Don't you have to take a buttermilk bath if you get like sprayed by the stuff? Isn't that a thing? It's no, a tomato bath, oh. baby. Yeah. That might be a thing though, buttermilk. I thought I saw it in like Charlotte's Web and they put somebody in a buttermilk bath because they got sprayed by stuff. Maybe it's bold. Maybe they mixed it. Oh, it yeah. It. I just remember them putting girl in a tin bucket bath thing. Well, the reason I use tomato juice is tomatoes is because of the acidic. citrus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, I like to use all-purpose flour, so I'm going to use about a, how much we got, because we're going to use this for our gravy, too. We're going to do about a cup and a half, and the key to a good crispy crust is cornstarch. Mm -hmm. We're going to use about a tablespoon. Get that well combined. Now, how much seasoning do you want in there, pumpkin? Um, do you want it good? Enough to make it taste good. So, spiciness. Okay, so you want me to spice it up? Yeah. But y'all fix it and do all the work. Okay. So, get ready for dirty hands. Okay. I like this part. I'm going to go a tablespoon of voodoo. We're going to go a tablespoon of swamp. But we ain't gonna stop there. Ooh. We're gonna put it on the meat too. We're gonna put it all over this meat. Heck yeah. And I'll do the honors to get my hands dirty. Oh. There we go. I mean, I'm gonna get my hands dirty on the meat. Y'all fixing to really get y'all's hands dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and if you pat the seasoning in, it adheres in there. And you see this steak's been sitting out. This is cube steak. It's been sitting out about an hour. I heard something like if you let meat like steak sit out with seasoning on it for a long time, the heat makes it like absorb it. Mm-hmm. Oh. It, it actually takes to the seasoning and your batter better. You don't ever want to cook steaks cold. You don't want to fry them cold. But yet they're still cool. They're not like hot where you get sick. Right. And you see I'm only touching with a clean hand. I got a dirty hand here. Just rub that around. It's gonna be good. Okay. Now, let me get my junk out the way. I gotta wash those up. Oh, the fun's <laughs> gonna begin. Are we gonna mix up that bowl? I'm fixing to mix it up. Okay. Y'all fixing to have fun with, oh, we need uh, black pepper. Okay. Got it. Yeah. How much do we need? What do you think? <laughs> do we need a tablespoon? Yeah. Okay. Or how, how, let's go a half a tablespoon. Oh boy. So like half of what she did last time. Remember? Well, that was a teaspoon. That's good right there. Oh. There you go. Because that's cracked black pepper. 
perfect. Y'all want a little salt? Sure. Yeah. Why not? I think we need salt. About a teaspoon. Yeah. Let's see if I'm over. You tell me when you stop and I'll tell you if that's right. Mm. You tell me. I'm going to do a little more. A little more. A <laughs> little more. A little more. I can't see if it's coming. Oh. There you go. Ooh. No, that's good. Okay. There you go. That's a teaspoon. going to take a piece of meat. Y'all both going to do this. <laughs> Get that flour pressed in there. You're going to shake it off. You're going to gently put it into the egg and buttermilk bath. Back into the flour. Press it in good. Isn't cooking fun? Yes, actually, I love cooking. Yes. And you really want it covered in flour. Okay. Then you're going to gently pick it up because it's very delicate. Get a little bit more because you don't want no wetness. And you're going to lay it right there. Oh, that corn starts okay. to fill in. There you go. All right, that's what we do. Yeah. You first, Kevin. That's why we have a sink full of hot water. I'm going to put more hot water in here. So. I'm leaving all this out because we may have to make some more, but I doubt it. Get all that off your. Oh, Caden, you got it. Just keep dumping it. No wet. Oh, well, um, I think I'm. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, my turn. Oh, Remember, y'all have rags here. Here, Caden. Oh, you. There you I go. Got all sorts of those stuff. There you go. Mine. Just put it in there and wash your hands. And then here's towels to dry the hands. Always keep a sink or a pan of soapy hot water. And you got it made. So did you do flour, wet flour? Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. Set it in there. Just Mama gonna sit back here and watch y'all. Oh, I'm enjoying this hot dog. <laughs> we might need to make more of this. I think we will. You think so? Maybe. I don't know, actually. There you go. Get that flour on there and then it won't stick to your hands so much. And Michaela's using one hand. Sure. She's using two. Mm-hmm. You know, they say you always have one hand for wet, one hand for dry. It's never worked for me. <laughs> they both get nasty. Yeah, I'm already messy. I was boiling. Yep. And if you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk. The buttermilk just helps tenderize. But these things are so tender. That looks good. And using two hands to shake it off so that the meat don't tear. There you go. Is this all one piece right here? Big old thing? Oh, no, okay. Can I just put my hands in the water? Yep, yeah. there's a rag in there. Oh. See how you can clean them hands and then just turn the water on and rinse them. I bet you Mama makes about 30 sink pools of soapy water every day. Is this yours, Kaden? It yeah, don't matter. Fine. And that's why I had that bark there, because sometimes it helps to turn it over. 
Yeah, I got a small one. I got scared. I got a small piece. I think we're gonna need more of that egg wash. Nah. Really? Mm -hmm. Nah. Don't second guess like Mama's cooking techniques. We ballin' now, y'all. We ballin'. Something else she mentioned. I better be getting them pickles out and drying them. Why y'all working on that? What's what? This and this, the thing you dumped the white in there. Thing. Oh, that's a, uh, that's lard that I put in. Okay, I need a fork to see where we're at. You basically go by eyesight of how much breading you want on there. I bought it. Mm-hmm. Don't smell them. All right, smell. you see, I put about a tablespoon smell. of cornstarch. <clears throat> that's where that crispy. Now, some people use breadcrumbs. I use our panko. I don't have panko, so we're using flour and milk. All right, what seasoning y'all want? Ooh. Um, what do you think would be good with those since they're like sweet? I would do uh, clucking good. Got it. If it was me. You know that? I just want to try that. The new one, the uh, Oh, yeah. We're gonna put that in the potatoes. Oh, okay, okay. Here, you do this. Put the shake lid on. It. Yeah. I'll shake it for you. Okay. There you go. Oh, I smell the potatoes now. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, that stuff that's, that's good, in this that thing is dissolving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look, guys. Oh, there you go. Out. That's good. It's dissolving in the pan. That's Mama's lard that I put up. Whoa, it's already gone. Yeah, I thought it was ice cream. Something like that. See? You know what you need to make for that, that white stuff for Christmas? The chewy stuff. Oh my god. Divinity? Yeah, that. You need to make some. I was thinking about the other day. I was like, oh, I want it so bad. You need to make a YouTube video on making that. So I, can I did. Make it. Last oh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'll send some to uh, Sam Bowles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dear subscriber friends last year. Uh, you gave some to me. And That's some... right, I sure did. I oh, yeah, some you sent a whole gift box. I did. Yeah, she got that whole gift box to y'all. That's right, I forgot divinity. about that. My dad now, makes it. I think what I'm going to do, kids, to keep y'all from getting burned. Yep. <clears throat> that would be me. I'm going to do this. We're fixing to swap these potatoes over to the to back here. Oops. And I am going to move this so water doesn't get in it. Perfect. Okay. Boom. We need to check our potatoes. Notice the light. All right. We're going to check. Watch that. Oh, no. Two is plenty. There you go. But don't put it close to the burner. Oh. Because it will catch a fire. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because this is a. That's electric stove. Yeah. Or any stove. It just, it's not the, Here. it's the old style. Right. Why do you have, um, what's it called, the foil around them? So it doesn't make the bottoms dirty. This is going to be oh. Mama's uh, sugar shack stove. Mama wants to go back to her flat top like I have. Okay. So I'm mm -hmm. asking Papa for Christmas, I'm hinting. You and, Papa, you and, I want another stove. You and Mama, or you and, you and Mama should switch because Mama hates our flat top. Is it going to burn? Well, no, it can uh, cook it too fast, and it uh, it burns it. You burn your grease. We don't want that. We don't want burnt grease. Okay. Fine. Now. 
Y'all want my mom to do this part so y'all can see or y'all want to take a chance? I'll take you a chance. Do, oh, do it for us first. Yeah, do it then. first okay. and then I'll... Yeah. We're throwing them all up in this mossy. <laughs> now, mama gets her hands dirty, but... They don't feel like nothing bad. It's still a lump. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. I need you to tell me if I have skin cancer later, mama. Okay. It's getting okay. better. I put that stuff on this morning and it's already better. It was... <clears throat> Show mama. He had a rash right here from turf burn. And turf it was burn. like all the way here. Why was he you putting your, on it? Your so, caldula so Calendula? Yeah. Cal yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is. Caldula. That's what it says. It says Calendula. Calendula. I just called her, her Sal. No, yeah. I thought it was Caldula or something like that. Nah, I just say Sal. Yeah, well, no. yeah, it's, the, it's got a D in it. So <clears throat> that's where you're getting that D sound, but it's actually Calendula. Oh. Some people call it calendula or something like that, but it's I'm actually still calendula. Wearing. All right. What'd you, what were you saying? Caledula. Because uh, <laughs> I thought it was C A L E. Okay, here we go. Oh, you gotta drop it in there like. Yes. Yeah, like. Ooh. Oh, see? Yeah. That's why I'm saying, y'all sure you want my mom to do this? You do it. Yeah, I don't tell I'll do to do it. that. Okay, okay. Just don't splatter. You gotta go in and pull out. Just like that. And it ain't gonna take Ooh, long. Oh, it squirted on me. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah. Uh oh. I fell it on myself. There you go. Really? Now you see how they puffed up. If you don't yeah. like puffed up, you can use instead of the masa that I did. You can go dry milk, um, flour, milk, and panko. Oh, instead of or, corn syrup. Yeah, instead of using like the yeah. Back in there. Okay, let's get this off the grease because I gotta get all that cleaned up. All right, now let's get y'all some ranch. All right, y'all gonna have to tell me how those puffs turned out. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're hot now. Yeah. They're like real hot. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Here. Fine. Maybe. Just give me more. This is serious. Alright. You want another one? No. I gotta get those potatoes. Potatoes. Don't keep using the same rack. It's cross contamination. That's right. See, Momo got another one. Momo may go through eight towels a day in the kitchen. Mm. So while that's filling up, I'm taking this to the washing machine. They're good. Mm -hmm. Are they good? They're. Hot dog. I like the pickles. They're like. I like the sweetness. Yeah. It's a sweet spicy. Yeah. It's like a perfect one too. Y'all have worked hard, she said. Y'all are not sharing. They're doing their own thing. They're going to put hands dirty. I guess they're in the case. Michaela says, Papa and Grandpa, they're on their own. Let's move this here. This is next. 
She just. I'm just saying, I no, I'm just saying the cars she's already looked at before. So I'm trying to get, like, she's looked at new cars, old cars, sports cars, normal cars. hot potatoes. So I'm going to put about three tablespoons of butter. Y'all watching? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to put some milk. <clears throat> to start off with that much. And what that'll do is melt. Those potatoes will melt. That butter. And then we mash them. That's hot. Warm. Alright, we want you said you wanted full throttle. Right? Yeah. Okay. the beaters out. Oh. You can roll this up. Roll it up. Keep it down. Okay. It's so good. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, I ain't Sue used to have me make potato salad and sweet tea when she worked at General Motors for their get-togethers. Oh. And she always said, yeah, I'll make the potato salad and sweet tea. And she called me up. I don't think they ever knew it was me that made it. Oh, my gosh. Dude, <laughs> Rich one day. I don't know what, but TikTok. Uh, so yeah, if, I, if, I, if I'm a lawyer. But then I'm going to be broke for the first 10 years of my life working because law school is $150,000 to do. Yeah. No. Okay. But it's worth it if I get rich. I'm going to get the, these part done and then y'all going to cut. All right. Okay. That part's done. I forced them. But I like to cut them. I'll do the little one. Okay. I like to cut down the middle. Down the middle. And I want them Done. that size. Well, that was a very yeah, no, mine's not. Center. <laughs> I do middle, 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 middle
All right, y'all ready? All right, let me get a big spoon. I'll do the nasty stuff. <laughs> oh, let me show y'all something cool. Y'all ever seen a measuring cup that pops out? No, that's cool. My friend sent this to me. Whoa. I had never seen it. And look, that's you can so, read it. Yeah. That is like the coolest thing that's I've ever seen. Yeah, I love them things. That gun's good. All right, whoa, that's uh. Hang on. Full. That's too full. All right, then, uh, yeah. Mm. Mama, I thought I'd done hurt my uh, socks of roofies this morning. No, How? just the evening. How? I got home from work and I took the cover off. My new truck had been covered up for. Yeah. Okay. Oh, these are the rolls. Yeah, oh, those, those are the rolls. Yeah, show them on the. Show them on, on the, the video. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Okay, yeah, Mama made real. these. Um, rolls that you have to do with the you can do without the yeast. Um, no, without yeast blooming. Without yeast blooming. It's a no bloom roll. No bloom roll. And she's on the right track. It just needs to be less dense because it's like very like packed down and needs to rise more. But it's not heavy, is it? Did no. you show on the inside? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Me and Kaden. Have eight, eight of them, <laughs> and Grandpa Ooh. had two, maybe just one. I only grab one. All right, I think we're there, kid. What is that? Huh? Ah, I, I don't know. What is, what it? is it? Ribbon candy. Oh, I love ribbon. Where did he? Who, who, who has Felicia it? Felicia sent it to me. She said, "Is this what you like?" I said, "Yes, please." <laughs> 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 well, did she say? Does mama want some? No. Well, you better text her little butt back and say, your mama said you better not show up empty-handed without her song. She knows that's my favorite. All right, Jaden. <laughs> We're going to try this little one. She All right. Is this what you like? I said, yep. Let's see if it's ready. <laughs> Key berry. Yeah. That's gonna be it nice. is ready. Oh. It's old. Now, here you go. Huh? It's old gum. My mom on the side. I'm going to go under it. It's be easy. Huh? Don't throw it in there. You need to learn. I'm going to go. Okay. Now. You might have to cook one day. You want me to get them in there? And then you cook them? That's all I got. Yeah. Black mac and cheese. Yeah. Hey. You say all that? Right. You know who Jada is? No. The more famous Italian yeah. chef Jada? Who's this no. one? Her little daughter had been all of a sudden. Because we can't crowd them, so we'll do the two big ones together. Uh -huh. together. Yeah. All right. And the key is. Macaroni and cheese out of a box. <laughs> Four minutes. <laughs> Four minutes. You can't move so, them, don't stir them, all the goodie will get off. Okay. You know what the goodie is? Oh, so we just That's right. We got yes. 215. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now this is your favorite. Mm -hmm. What is that? Fries for us. I did, I thought. And then we got cream gravy to do and we'll be done. Yeah. Gotta keep the flour out for the gravy. We gotta warm the mashed potatoes back up. Those need to go in the oven. Okay. Right now? Yeah. That way they stay warm. Okay. I forgot to put them in the oven. Mm. It'll actually, you'll see it get brown all around the sides. But if I was to cook this on a high heat, yeah. it would have burned it and not cooked the inside. All right, let's see where we're at here. Do you need to turn the oven on? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, it's sitting there. I can put a light on and that'll keep it warm. Right here. Well, my dad won't do anything. We're going to hold on to you tomorrow, but we just don't have the time, I guess. Well, see, we can only we can only do it when Papa's got time, right? And that's right. usually on the weekends. And with the time changing, we're going to move back to the inside of the house. See, we work 
outside when the you know when the days are longer. Yeah. But now that the time's going to change, we're going to move back to working on the inside. Well, I thought the time was going to change this year. So I, mean, yeah. I always say stop messing with the time myself. I don't understand it. I don't really make sense to me. Well, it was supposed to be implemented for the farmers, but yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. that but it doesn't make sense, son. I know some states have already stopped doing it. That's right. And Louisiana Arizona. was supposed to vote on it two years ago, and they did. I think Arizona stopped. I think. Was that one of the states this year? I don't know. I just remember we went to Phoenix a couple years ago, and my dad was talking about it. So. Okay. Well, I know three states this year voted not to change it, but maybe Arizona was one of them. Maybe I don't, I don't know. They're gonna make sure. a better one. Well, it's a further. All right, let me ask y'all a trivia question. Current events. Who is now our Speaker of the House? <laughs> and it just happened this week. This is something y'all oh, need to yeah. know. I didn't hear about that. Oh. A Democrat. No, baby, a person's name. <laughs> Democrat. Mike Johnson. He is now third in line to the seat. Because think about it, the speaker that's is below the vice president. That's what I like to do because I want to be like an attorney and then work my way up to like the big stuff. And, be and like, he's a Republican, by the way. <laughs> he's not a Democrat. <laughs> Lord. Sure. In here. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do with it. You know, I'm writing that cookbook. Well, every time I make the cookbook, I mean, uh, the recipe, you know, I click save, all of a sudden the thing takes off and it goes up to the right of the screen, it's gone. Oh. It is it's nowhere to be found. It's gone. Like, what the hell is that? Figure that out. I finally just slammed the door and said, I'm done. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't understand what I'm doing. Oh yeah, what we'll plenty of squash. Oh yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Now I'm gonna show you what Mama does, so that's almost done too. As long as your oven's not hot, I take anything that I have used that's got grease in it, and I put it in my oven, and I don't do nothing else to it until the next mm -hmm. day when it cools off, unless I need the oven. Because it's too dangerous leaving it open. Yeah. Turn that off for a minute. Now I'm going to show you this is dangerous, but <clears throat> this is an oven safe dish. You couldn't do plastic or nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you put a metal spoon, knife, or whatever, it'll keep this from cracking. Because I'm fixing a four day hot grease in here. Yep. And I want all of it out because I'm fixing to wipe out all of that oh, burnt end. Because I don't want all them bits. So that's about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Okay? Ooh, the whisk. Yep, you fixing the whisk. <laughs> And I'm fixing to put you some flour in there. And it's equal parts oil to equal parts flour. Remember, there's a secret ingredient. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So we're on a medium heat. You just start stirring. Okay. We don't need any more flour. The only thing we're going to need is milk and seasoning. Now, I'm going to season it with a little bit of full throttle. Keep a stirring. A little pow a powder. A little pepper. <laughs> Gotta have some salt. Okay. JD said bring him some food. He said what? Alright, get the whisking. He said bring me some. Now <laughs> you're gonna need a tablespoon of onion soup mix. This is my homemade. One tablespoon. Wow, this is so good. And the last secret ingredient goes in last. Now I'm gonna start 
putting a little at a time, and that's when you got to start whisking. Okay. Yep. A little at a time. So. Nutmeg, y'all. Now I use whole nutmeg, and I'm going to do it like three, four times. One, two, three, four. And that's all it takes. And I'm going to tell you, it is phenomenal, but you don't taste it. It brings out the richness. It's like a bechamel sauce. Well, that's yeah. why you said that earlier. I remember you talking about the bechamel. Yeah. Uh, so that let's see, where are we at? Yeah, I'd say you can tell them to come on in. I'm going to turn the fire up and get it going. Here you go. Papa, hey. bless our little table real quick, please, sir. Lord Father, thanks for this meal we've to receive. Thanks for providing this meal, the one prepared it today. Keep us on our journey safe. Continue to bless us as you always do. Let us steer not from the path that you have laid out for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. <laughs> so who's washing the dishes? Mama.